Okay, here we go. These are the finished product I showed reaction to hydrogen peroxide and to really, really strong something like 75% pure vinegar. I mean, it's like super dangerous kind of vinegar. And this, I like this one. Look how shiny that is. Yeah, I can't wait to get that under a loop. And they do my microscope and see what's going on there. So, yeah. So the, uh, I can't, can't, can't really see that one. So here's what happened in a summary. And you can also check out the video. This one's cool. I like this one. Look at that. It's really interesting. And this is pretty representative. I mean, of these are kind of everywhere on the property. That's very representative. Same as this. You know, this is a half one. And then there's some sort of dendritic thing going on. And this is not limestone anymore. No reaction. It has been replaced. No longer lim limestone. Pretty much with 80 to 90 percent of, a, maybe more than that, probably 90 percent are not limestone. In fact, I'm not sure I've seen a pure limestone rock here. Though it looks like limestones everywhere, which is kind of interesting. But it makes sense because... Uh, and calcite. Calcite is extremely rare here. And that would be because of the extremely, extremely, extremely sulfur-dense groundwater. Lots and lots of weathering. And pretty much just with that, you know, sulfur it. It can't survive so and then I do find quartz but it's typically in the form of a chalcedony or a chert that's typically what the quartz looks like here with some opal Um, this is pretty cool. This is quartz. Oh, so quartz is kind of rare. Um, I'm not going to say rare. It comes up in the fossils. You know, the uh, nodules, concretions mineralized wood, that type of thing. And this is not calcite, probably selenite. Again, not calcite, some interesting kind of green, yellow stuff going on over there and some green here. I think we got some pyromorphite, some smithsonite. Okay, what else? Now, these are just some of the phospholiferous, am I saying that right? Phospholiferous pieces. Just a handful that came out of a box that I thought are kind of representative of some of the things you'll find here. Um, the fossils are so prevalent that it is <laughs> overwhelming. I know. Yeah, right? Good problem to have, but uh, nonetheless, they're everywhere. And so, you can't pick them up, all of them up. But that's why I'll be having rock hounding events again this year, and with an emphasis on fossils. Because you cannot 
You're not supposed to take fossils, even from public land, whereas you can take non-fossils. So, you know, crystals, that type of thing, rocks that aren't fossils um, from public land, as long as it's not a public park, it's very confusing. But fossils are a no-go. But here, on private property, it's a go. So look forward to that. Uh, these just found today. Just kind of laying on the ground. They were interesting. A little different than what I normally find. Um, yeah. This has kind of an interesting sort of druze on it. Oh, we already looked at that. So, anyway, this is a little, a little looksy at some of them. And again, I did hydrogen peroxide and very, very, very strong vinegar testing. And you can check out those videos under, I'm going to create a testing playlist, but I haven't done enough videos to make it that hard to find, but it's kind of fun to look at, so you might want to check it out. All right. For now, rock on.